Hello everyone, my name is Aisha Kader and this is PCR Online. We are coming to you live from the ESC Congress 2024 in London. It's my pleasure to have Dr. Gianluca Campo from Ferrara, Italy. Welcome Dr. Ferrara. Hi, good morning. Hi. Gianluca has yesterday presented um, the results of Earth STEMI, which was an IPD meta-analysis of elderly patients with STEMI incomplete versus culprit revask. Would you tell us a bit about the background and why this meta-analysis needed to be undertaken? Yes, uh, sure. The background is quite easy. The large majority of the randomized clinical trial enrolled patient with a median age of 62 years old. We know that in daily practice, complete revask is underused. Last year, we presented the five trial with a median age of 8 years. My five trial show some limitation, in particular, did not include only STEMI patients. So the goal of the meta-analysis is to have a huge number of STEMI patients with a long-term follow-up. Fantastic. So tell us a bit about the patient population. How many patients? What were the characteristics of these patients? Because the objective was you wanted to look at a patient population that was elderly, who are more comorbid yeah. and yeah. so on. Sure. The, we are rolled from seven randomized clinical trials, 1,733 patients. And uh, the characteristics of the population are unique because the median age was 79 years old. 34% of the population show female sex. Very complex coronary artery disease, severe calcification, vessel tortuosity. More than uh, one third of the patients show more than two, no culprit lesion. And uh, very important, a lot of uh, heart failure at clinical presentation because 20% of the patients were admitted with kidney class two or more. So fairly comorbid population with a mean age of about 79. Could you tell us the main results, the primary endpoint, tell us what the primary endpoint was, what the results were, and also the key secondary endpoints, as we know they are particularly relevant in this yeah. analysis. The primary endpoint was a combined of death, MI, and ischemia driven VASC. The primary endpoint was reduced by 22% at four years follow-up by complete revascularization. More important is the reduction in cardiac death or MI, the key secondary endpoint, by 24%, not only at four years, but also at the longest uh, available follow-up. And how about uh, non-CV death following the four-year follow-up? We noticed that there was benefit to co uh, complete revask in the terms of cardiovascular death, but what yeah. about the catch-up of non-CV death yeah. after you are, four you years? Right, uh, yeah. you are on the target because uh, we observe uh, after the uh, fourth year follow-up uh, an increase of non-cardiac events and non-cardiovascular death in the complete arm. So the initial benefit in the first two, three years uh, in terms of cardiac death and uh, cardiac events uh, is uh, balanced by an increase in non-cardiac death and non-cardiac events in the latter years in the complete arm. So if you see a very long follow-up, six years, but we don't have a lot of patients with six year follow-up, but if you see now the available data, at this, at this um, follow-up, the difference is no more significant because the initial cardiac protraction is balanced by an increase in non-cardiac events. That's very interesting, and even yesterday at the hotlines, there was quite a lot of discussion about what is an appropriate endpoint in these patient populations because they are elderly, they are comorbid, yeah. they have uh, limited life expectancy. So, what might be an appropriate endpoint? There was discussion on frailty yeah. and quality of life. What is your take on that? Yo, uh, I believe that we can make the, uh, a comment also using the data from the senior Rita trial. Uh, which is presented in the same uh, hotline session because we observe, yeah, yeah. we observe a very uh, similar uh, uh, approach of death in the long term uh, follow up. So the key point is when we are talking about older patients with comorbidity, probably the goal is not to increase at very long term the mortality because it's not feasible because the patient may save from cardiac events or cardiac death, but we will show in a longer follow-up non-cardiac death and non-cardiac events. So probably the goal is to reduce hospital readmission, this is very important, and to improve quality of life. And I believe that angiography and complete revasque are stronger key 
element to improve quality of life. We did a, meta a sub analysis from the fire trial I show with this and to reduce the burden of hospitalization for this patient. Interesting. Another point, just a small point, was that 57% were physiology guided yeah. in your study. Fire, of course, was a different issue. So how do you think, what would be the next step to answer the questions yeah. that have arisen from this particular yeah. meta-analysis? No, this is a very important point because obviously the selection of physiology or not is based on the original study design of the randomized clinical trial included in the meta-analysis. 57% uh, of the patients that receive complete and mass guided by physiology. And physiology is important to avoid unnecessary procedure, unnecessary stent implantation. And in particular, it's important if you are able to do this in the index procedure, because you can avoid a staged procedure to reassess no culprit lesion and to repeat uh, the risk of uh, heart chest site complication, prolonged hospital stay, acute kidney injury, and so on. I agree. I think you make a very important point about doing it in the index procedure, yeah. particularly in an elderly population yeah. that will be difficult yeah. to bring back. Totally right. Exactly. Totally right. In this meta-analysis, uh, what was the proportion of what was the proportion of the, regarding the timing of Rebask? How many of them had it during index versus later on? No, the large majority, uh, this key, key point is, was based also in the study design from the randomized clinical trial. And we have one study, the culprit study, performing all the revascularization in the index procedure. We have uh, other study, FIRE, COMPARE, DANAMI, performing uh, the complete revascularization in the index hospitalization. Only in the complete trial was available the possibility to perform the staged procedure within the first month. But in elderly patients, the number of patients with this approach is very limited. So all the physicians try to complete their VASC in the index hospitalization. Fabulous. Thank you very much for this discussion. Thank Appreciate you. your time for PCR Online. And make sure you catch the rest of the interventional content from ESC Congress 2024 on PCR Online. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.